let's discuss how photoluminescence for inorganic material looks like. We know that in photoluminescence, there is a spontaneous emission of light from a material under optical excitation. This simply means that PL is basically a secondary phenomenon. At the first stage, the material has to absorb light, then it has to emit light. We know that in inorganic material, we have a conduction band here and we have a valence band here. And this region is basically we call conduction band minimum. And this region is basically we call valence band maximum. The distance between these two is basically we call band gap of the material. Now, when we want to shine light, when we want to bombard light, the energy of this photon must be greater than the band gap. This means that the energy of the photon must be greater than the band gap in order to take the electrons from here and take it to the conduction band. Otherwise, the absorbance will not occur and there will be no emission, there will be no photoluminescence. Now, when, when we have sufficient uh, energy, photons have sufficient energy, so it takes electron from here and it takes it to the conduction band here. So now we have hole here and we have electron here. Now when these electron basically recombine with this hole, so we got emission and that basically called, we basically call photoluminescence. So this is how photoluminescence occur in inorganic semiconductors. There are also two type of uh, phenomena, two type of emission occur basically here. One is basically called band to band, one is called band to band. Band to band simply means that when electron directly basically from here just can recombine with the hole in the valence band. So that is basically we call band to band uh, transition. And this is also we call intrinsic transitions. There, there are also called sub band transition, sub band transition and sub band transition basically means that when electron basically uh, excite to certain heights here, a higher level and there are maybe defects uh, in the material so it, it basically uh, delay the process and uh, it does not directly uh, combine with the hole so that is basically we call a uh, sub band transition or we call extrinsic transitions but in both cases we get light here right but one 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 with the smaller energy another with the bigger energy.